Well, greetings one and all and welcome back to a spring-like day here in the United Kingdom. And the skies are blue, we've got some white fluffy clouds and we've got a beautiful pen for your eyes to gaze upon today. And that is the Caveco Collection Iridescent. New pen from Caveco for 2022. It's joined by the Green Lilliput, which I don't currently have my hands on, but I may well have a look at that in the near future. And I thought what we'd do today, something a little bit different, we would have a go at doing some poetry from Edgar Allan Poe, as well as loading some beautiful Solar Ink Studio 224 and writing on some Cosmo Air Light. Now, if you'd like to join me in writing some poetry today, I'd love to see what you actually produce. So if you can use any file sharing app or load it onto Instagram and then just put a link into the description below, I'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, I really would like to try and explore some more mindfulness on my channel going forward. So if you've got any suggestions for that, please leave them in the comment section below. Now, the reason why I'm not doing any drawing today is because this pen doesn't write particularly well in reverse. And I'll be talking a little bit more about that later on. So I thought, you know what, let's mix things up. Let's do a bit of poetry as something different. So please join me over at the table where we'll crack on with this. I'm going to open up today's pen perspective with a question. Does the fear of missing out really affect you? Be it a pen, ink or paper, what is it about that product that really attracted you? Uh, if you could let me know in the comment section below, I'd be very grateful. Although Caveco isn't a new company, it's a new company in terms of me trying them. I've only just reviewed a Supra a few weeks back and I have to say that I thoroughly loved it, much to my surprise. So when Caveco finally got around to releasing their spring collection of pens, one pen in particular stood out and that was the iridescent version of the Sport. Its pearl-like material was unlike anything I'd seen prior and I knew that it would both video and photograph particularly well, so I clicked buy without really thinking about it. It's rare really for me to do that these days with buying a pen without second thought, but I have to say just like a, a pen whisperer, this pen really spoke to me. But when you think about it, a pen whisperer, wouldn't it be great, you know, if you could get a pen to work just by whispering to it? Yeah. I don't think that will ever happen, but one can dream. Anyway, needless to say, it was love at first ink. And two days later, it arrived in my letterbox. So thanks to Coke Pens for your speedy service. So this is going to be a very quick section. The pen comes in a very simple cardboard box. Holographic patterns are adorned on all four sides. And that's all I can really say about it. I quite like the simplicity of it, it's quite eco-friendly because you can just throw it away if you want. And I do like the ripple effects of the holograms on the actual box. Just a nice little touch that really complements the pen itself. Okay, so now let's move on to the practicality. This pen is brilliant in so many ways. It's small, it's light, it's comfy, and it can pose to make the pen a little bit longer for larger hands. I love the grip section on this pen. It's not too small and it's not too large. It's just perfect for everyday writing. Now, I may be gutting a little bit over this pen, but in all honesty, for the price you pay, it is fantastic. Oh, and if you want to post the pen in a shirt pocket or in a pen case, you can just simply purchase a slip on clip. This is a genius move and one I'd like to see more pen manufacturers offer for their clipless models. Of course, there is one small issue and I'm sure for many owners of this pen, you'll probably guess what I'm going to say. That's right, it is the ink capacity. Unlike the Supra, which can double up as a full length and pocket pen and then obviously utilize an international long cartridge converter, you don't get the same luxury afforded with this sport model. So I'm afraid you'll have to make do with short international cartridges or the mini plunger converter, which I have to say is a joy to use. Uh, one could actually even consider eye dropping this pen. Just obviously consider getting some silicone grease, apply it to the threads and, and put on an o-ring and you're good to go. Uncapping this pen is quick and it can be done one handed, a few twists and you're ready to write. But I think the intended purpose of this pen is for those that want to make quick notes. So in that respect, having a shorter international cartridge I don't think will be too much of an issue. 
Now it is worth noting that Caveco do offer larger pens so if you do want a longer writing experience then Caveco have you covered. Okay now let's have a look at the design of the pen. Well ladies and gents again I don't think there's going to be a lot to cover here uh, because the pen really does speak for itself. So this pen is iconic and I feel that any collector would recognise a Caveco Sport anywhere. Its faceted barrel and small stature have not really changed in the years since its inception. With respect to this pen, it's beautiful. <laughs> really, really beautiful. The way the iridescent plastic shines back to your eye is something to behold and something which I think you have to experience in person. And if you've got great light, then this pen really comes to life. So I'm just going to give you a few beauty shots of this pen just so that you can really appreciate it. This pen has caused quite a stir and buzz within the community and one that I feel that will be one of the bigger hits of 2022, especially with the amount of people showcasing their new iridescent sport collection models on their Instagram feeds. Okay, so now let's have a look at the writing and drawing experience. This is a stunning writer. It's well tuned, the flow is decent, and the medium steel nib is just a delight. The nib is a tad small for my liking, but otherwise I have almost no complaints. The only complaint I would say is that whilst you can write on the reverse, it is very scratchy. This is partly why I'm not doing a drawing with the pen today. The pen is fitted with a Yovo nib and comes in a variety of different nib grades, ranging from extra fine up to extra broad. Oh, and it should be noted that you can't use the premium nibs with the classic sport range. That's just reserved for the Earl Sport and Supra. Okay, so we're now going to have a quick update on the customer service. For those of you which watched my Caveco Supra review, you may have noticed I was a little bit dismissive on the customer service. Having said that, I have been in communication with Caveco since and it turns out that their customer service representative was ill and in light of some of the aspects and the issues which are going on at the moment in Europe, uh, the things have been a little bit slow. Uh, she did apologise profusely and you know what? That's fantastic. Uh, all is forgiven. But I just thought I'd just give you a quick update on that. Okay, so I'm now going to go on to my final thoughts. Okay, so 2022 is off to a good start as far as Caveco is concerned. Two very exciting models have been released, that being the Sport, which we are looking at today, as well as a very nice green Lilliput. In regards to this pen, I adore it, but do I adore it enough to add a ton of sport models to my collection? Well, that's something I can't say right now. But for 20 odd quid, you do get yourself a fantastic pen that offers a unique finish and a superb writing experience. So who is Caveco trying to target with this pen? I would have to guess maybe a younger collector and those who just want to have a good writing experience foremost. Secondly, this pen is very attractive and for those that are just getting into the hobby, you might just want to have something a little less conventional and this would be a fantastic choice, especially if a Pilot Metropolitan or a Lamy Safari isn't necessarily for you. Now, going forwards, we can expect a Piston Field Sport at some point, which I really can't wait for. This is going to be the solution Caveco needs to attract the missing segment of the market for those that just want to have a larger filling capacity. Often I've heard people commenting about how they love the pens and unfortunately the filling capacity just doesn't do it for them. So hopefully that this pen will go some way to actually alleviating those issues. Anyway, that does leave it for today's video. Just a couple of questions before I do finish up though. Firstly, do you prefer a more in-depth, longer video or do you prefer a more concise, shorter video? Uh, please do let me know in the comment section below. And lastly, 
Are you a Kaveco owner? If so, what is your current favourite model? And if you do own the sports, are you the kind of person which loves to collect every single colour under the rainbow? Again, I would really appreciate your comment in the section below. So that is it for today. All I've got left to say is thank you for watching, stay safe and goodbye for now.